Hey, one and all, just a quick video on the uh, rebuild kits for the FE series club car engines offered uh, on Amazon. Now, admittedly, we have used a ton of this stuff over the years, you know, as the OEM stuff gets a little hard to uh, get in my, uh, you know, post COVID, that is, in my club car uh, Kawasaki four stroke air cooled engine book 84 through uh, 13. I do mention, you know, use the OEM parts, uh, Kawasaki OEM or club car recommended parts whenever possible. That's getting tough. Uh, a lot of this stuff is unobtainium these days. Um, you know, just going over this this kit, what you know you could consider using and then stay away from. It comes with a couple of valves, an intake and exhaust valve. Uh, if you take the OEM valve and compare it to the aftermarket valve, you can see that the aftermarket valve, um, it's right here, it's absolutely whacked as far as the uh, location of the um, keeper groove. So the installed height would be just completely out of spec if you use this Chinese valve. Um, another thing to consider is that uh, these guys are quite heavy. Overall length is correct. I guess if somebody was really desperate, they could use this stuff, but you know, I stay away from it. I uh, grind these valves um, if needed, and uh, we can test the springs here. But um, something to consider on the valve springs. Let's just walk around to the other side of the bench here and just put a quick test on them. This uh, OEM spring will deliver at coil bind. Let's just zero this thing out. Uh, it's just a little over two pounds at coil bind. Um, one thing to be aware of with these OEM springs, they're taller and all, but they coil bind out 30 thousandths. Uh, yeah, there, there it is, coil binding, it's squishing the gauge up to five. So it's coil binding out 30 thousandths before the, uh, the OEM spring does. So actually at the installed height, this bigger, robust, aggressive looking spring is, uh, is weaker than the OEM spring. So that doesn't bode well for the wire quality. Um, you know, so it's, and by the way, it's not a progressively wound spring like the OEM. So I would stay away from the valve springs in this uh, re -kit, the reman kit, the valves. It comes with um, spring seats, decent seals. The piston's excellent. Uh, measured that up and used quite a few of these. They're fantastic. I had been using Japanese rings. Uh, the rings have come a long way now. You can use these Chinese rings in most cases. Um, yeah, so just to sum up, I'll, I will put a link in the description to some of these uh, kits, and I'll host a little area on my website so I can make any amendments as they come along. As we find better or worse parts, we'll let you know. Um, yeah, I mean, these kits are are getting better all the time. Uh, the pricing is, is pretty darn good, as you'll see in, in, when you click on the links. Um but there are some things right now, you know, that could trip you up to watch for. So hopefully that helps as a general overview and some of these Chinese parts that are coming into the market. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Um, we're open uh, 8 a.m. to uh, 8 p.m. Pacific time. But the best time to call me is around noon Pacific time because this is a hobby business. I'm a heavy duty mechanic uh, during the day. I kind of work in this little area here. This is kind of what I do, but um, always happy to help with your uh, club car FE questions. All right, see you everybody, bye-bye.